Greetings, Geek Volution Town! Tis I, Puppet Pal Plush Captain Logan, to take something clever somebody else said and exploit it for my own gain once again. I'm in a big giant hurry today, so I'm gonna have to make this one of the shortest comments of the week in the history of comment of the week. Oh man, if I wanna finish this fast, I'm gonna have to stop being so redundant. See, I've been cramming all day for a big test. It's the final exam for my History of the Muppets class. I've been trying to memorize all these important dates and factoids and nuggets that might be on the test, and I totally lost track of time and almost forgot to do my one job. I'd sure hate to get fired from the absolute only thing anybody counts on me for every seven days. And honestly, all I do is stand here, crack jokes, and again, steal your comedy material. So that'd be a pretty embarrassing job to get fired from. Uh, okay, Sesame Street premiered November 10th, 1969. Steve Whitmire has been voicing Kermit the Frog ever since Jim Henson died. The last time Frank Oz voiced Animal was in the video game Muppet Race Mania. Big Bird is six years old. Fraggle Rock went off the air in 1987. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, one track mine. I get really nervous when taking tests. Man, I hope I do okay on my Metallica album identification quiz tomorrow for my bands with songs about puppets class. Anyway, today's comment comes from DRHP Loveboat, who left a comment on Jason Spoils Back to the Future number one. And he writes, Sorry, Jason, but I still don't agree with your political views on the current financial crisis. We work really hard here to keep the focus of our reviews on storytelling and not on our own personal politics, and you'd think it'd be Dan, Steve, or Manos who'd get too political, but no! It has to be the five-year-old! Jeez, the world got more politically charged than I thought in the last decade. Look, kid, if you want to do a series of opinion pieces on the post-toddler perspective of current world events, knock yourself out, but you're going to have to start your own channel. Maybe call it Tiny But Paying Attention, or Jason for President, or There's Too Many Old People in Charge. Uh, announcements! This week on Geekvolution, GNN recommends new comic reviews, Primetime Crisis Live on Sunday, all the normal stuff, plus a brand new episode of Commercials and Comics, and a commentary podcast on Marvel's The Incredible Hulk, co-commentaried by Dan Torrey. And there's still several of those Cap and friends haven't talked about yet, so we're finally getting to them. And, fingers crossed, Cap hopes to have the Dark Knight Rises superhero rewind to you by the end of the weekend. Okay, I've got essays to write and scantrons to fill out, so I gotta get going. I'm Plush Captain Logan, reminding you to keep a calendar, wear a watch, and always set an alarm to get up in the morning. I'll feed her saying ta-ta for now, and all those other goodbye phrases, including goodbye. Goodbye!